Hey beauties and bows, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer of Custom Chic and if you're new here, let me be the first to introduce you. My channel focuses on fashion, travel, and just overall lifestyle related content and I drop videos every Wednesday and every Friday. I am coming back from a fresh two week spring break sort of hiatus. Listen, I just needed to recharge, regroup, refresh, realign, refocus, just, I mean, we're going through a pandemic, right? And with that comes a lot of just stuff. So I wanted just to take some time off so that I knew that every time I got in front of this camera that I was presenting my best self. So I'm back. I hope you guys miss me. I miss being this. <laughs> I missed us. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about the shade of it all. Yes. I'm going to be talking about um, sunglasses. Summer is coming up and if you're new here, I did drop a video a couple of weeks ago about ABCs of fashion. Well, this is something very similar. I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to pick the best pair of sunglasses for your face shape. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so before we get started with the different shapes, I'm gonna be saying certain things about sunglasses that are only going to make sense when I go through this little tidbit real quick. And I wanted to share that because it is also very important. So regardless of the shape of sunglasses you purchase, regardless of your face shape, regardless of the designer, regardless of all of those things, every pair of frames has the exact same parts, right? So inside of your sunglasses, and specifically for Ray-Bans, because these are Ray-Bans, you're gonna have the frame ID within this inside portion of the temple. This is the temple, this is the temple tip, this is the brow bar, this is the nose, well, not brow bar, it's essentially the bridge, but it is a brow bar. Um, this is the nose pad, and then this is considered the eyewear, which is essentially the lens. And then there's the hinge, which enables the pair of sunglasses to either close or to open. So what is important about the actual um, frame ID is because some glasses come in different lengths and different widths. So when I talk about different face shapes, as I will in the video, when I say that make sure that your temple is higher or lower on the glasses, that makes sense because some sunglasses have temples that are right here, right? And that's okay. But for your certain face shape, you may need it to be up there or down there. There's different variations of how sunglasses are made. So I just wanted to point that out um, so that when I'm talking, you guys know. Oops, okay, we're going to slide these on. Okay, so that you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So without this super annoying ring light, always, you know, giving me all of this, let's get into it. <laughs> this is a heart-shaped face typically with a broader brow and a narrow chin. Next up is a square face, meaning you have bold features definitely turning heads. Round face, characterized by soft and contoured features. Oval shaped face can typically use any sort of sunglass shape. They are versatile. Okay, so first up on the list is going to be my round faced people. You guys have amazing, amazing cheeks. The sunglass shape suggestion, sunglass shapes, that, those are so many S's. That was really hard to say. Like I had a couple of bloopers before I got this right. But anyway, the sunglass shape suggestion for your face type is something that is going to be angular or rectangular in shape because it's going to give you the instantaneous illusion of having defined features. Because your face is round, um, it looks fuller. So most people are looking for something that is going to define um, their bodies and it's going to minimize the curves and add definition. So if you want to minimize the curves of your face and add definition, angular or rectangular shapes are definitely going to help that. Now, um, look for something that has higher temples, higher brow bars so that it is adding shape and definition to your face. Again, Select wider frames and select something that is going to be bigger than the widest part of your face to get that optical illusion of a slimmer and more defined facial feature. Um, yeah, 
facial feature. So that is the round shape. The suggestion for sunglasses is to get something that is rectangular or angular in shape so that you can give yourself instantaneous cheekbones and more defined features. Okay, so next up is all of my people who have a square face. The idea here is that you have very straight lines and a defined jawline. So what you want to do is widen and shorten the face with styles that will bring that that won't extend beyond the widest part of your face. What you want to do or some suggestions that I have for sunglass shapes are either a cat eye or an aviator slash pilot. There was that ring light again. It's really just not going to let me be great, is it? No, it's not, but that's okay. Um, that is going to add width to your shape because it's so square. You want to add more so that you don't look so defined in lines. Gosh, like every time I do these things, I feel so judgy. It feels like your face looks like this. Your body looks like that. Your face. But really, I'm not trying to be judgy. I'm just trying to give you guys the best tips and tricks on how to find pieces that not only work for your body type, but also your face shape. Remember, we're trying to give them everything. Three snaps and Z formation. That's what we're here for. So all of my square shaped faces remember you are going to have straight lines or your the illusion is that your face has straight lines and a very defined jawline so to soften that up a little bit you want to get something that's either a cat eye an aviator or a round face and you want to make sure that they don't go beyond the widest part of your face right because we're trying to soften it a little bit so let's go to the next one okay next up on our list is my people with the big heart yes it's the heart shaped face now you, for your guys your face shape your jawline is going to be the smallest part of your body so it's kind of like an inverted triangle right if you think about a triangle this would be the smallest part the suggestion for your face shape to kind of balance that out and balance out the jawline between every other part of your face is something that is going to be rounded so we saw these before and something like a cat eye which is going to balance out the jawline um other frame suggestions are going to be something that is a narrow rectangle and I'll pop up some pictures so that you guys can actually see the visual of what I'm talking about because I don't have a description of that pair. I don't have a narrow rectangle sunglasses. Um, I do have a round shape and we already talked about that. Um, the temples of your sunglasses should actually sit really high on your face so that you're balancing out everything that um, you want to accentuate, which is bringing the focus away from here and kind to balance this part of your face. So. All my heart shaped people, we love you. We heart you too. Jaw, um, not jawline, cat eye <laughs> is going to balance out that jawline. Okay, last but certainly not least. I know I, I volunteered myself as tribute and I said I'd go first, but just in recording this whole thing, it just did not work out. But here we are. We are now going to talk about the oval shaped face which is what i am um one of my friends like i said <laughs> she works for a sunglass company and she said that i was a rounded oval so i was like that is adding extra to this entire situation she's like don't worry about it you're a rounded oval so here i am with my rounded oval face to tell you guys that fortunately for me this face shape pretty much goes with everything <laughs> pretty much goes with any sunglass shape. Now that doesn't mean that other face shapes, so like the heart, the square, and the round face shape can't go with everything, but commonly if you have an oval shaped face, you can pretty much wear any sunglass shape that you like. There is a general kind of suggestion, right? So the bigger the face, the bigger the frame, the smaller the face, the smaller the frame. So keep that also in mind. But, um, Mostly any style will work for an oval face shape. And um, you can experiment with a lot of different things that you want to. That's, that doesn't mean that that is not also true for the other face shapes, but ovals can pretty much go with everything. I'm just gonna try a couple on just to show you guys. So, yep, here's me and my little cat eyes. She's cute, yeah. All right, let's see, here's me in my rounded rectangle. Not rounded rectangle, these are just round. She's cute too. I know that because I, I I just wore these. <laughs> um, these aviators. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. These are good. These are good. Let's see. These rectangle ones. These are all so good. They're so cute. I love these glasses. And they're super comfortable too. And um, last but not least, another pair of aviators. Yeah. These are super cool. I love that like there's a different um, frames right there. But yeah, so yeah guys, those are my tips on how to pick the best pair of sunglasses that are going to work best for your face shape. Remember, these are only suggestions. If you find a pair of sunglasses that you love, please buy them, cause I would. That, that would be what I would do. So yeah, if you stuck around this long, you already know what to do. You already know to like, you already know to subscribe, you already know to share, you definitely know to hit the bell notification so you know each time I drop a video, which is, every Wednesday and every Friday. And I will see you guys on Friday for Fashion in the Flash. Bye-bye.